I remember when me and my friends used to come here at night in the summertime it is a vibe for real and there would be so many people out here we would be talking to other people and getting to know people just for the moment enjoying the moment and then you know leaving it here so I miss that so we we're, we got to plan a, a trip at night out here okay Kitchen and Spirit is the restaurant at the top of the stairs over here. It smells so good over here. I've never been to this restaurant, but we're gonna have to try it. So stay tuned. So stay tuned. Going down.
I got something different this time. You know, I got to switch it up um, and play Russian roulette with my life. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, so I got from, uh, of course, the Chaco Mamas, as you could see. I got the burrito bowl and it has um, ground beef and everything that goes on the veggie mix because there is on the menu my hand in there there is on the menu a veggie mix so instead of me getting charged for a veggie mix and ground beef they um just put listed everything that would be on the veggie mix so that's what i got and then of course i got some things on the side i got salsa guacamole um and chili i think it's what it's called and chili um coleslaw and some cheese and their special vinaigrette this is really good so yeah that's what we got and everybody's happy y'all like your food that means yes <laughs> all right we'll see you in the next frame okay i'm back look at my fork y'all i got a twisted fork did you know what came to my mind that would be a great name for a restaurant the twisted fork and have the artwork be forks twisted around and things Okay, that's all I want to say. All right, you can feel free to use my idea. <laughs> Bye. Hello. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to my channel. And welcome back to those who are you. Oh, bless it. Anyway, those who are coming back. <laughs> who come back and hang out with me on a weekly basis. I can say that I post every week on Sundays faithfully. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and one reason I can do that is because I actually really enjoy vlogging. I love doing vlogging experiences that me and my family go and have I enjoy vlogging around my home and things that I'm doing. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> okay, sorry y'all. My tripod is not, it decided that it was done working. So I, <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, I am honest over here, okay? I think one of my signatures is that I can laugh at when things happen. But anyway, good tripod. It just decided one day that it wasn't going to stay up. So now I have to tape it. Okay, that is some real behind the scenes stuff. All right. But yes, I just wanted to say that I really enjoy vlogging. I really enjoy just being here. Um, and I think that is the key to being successful at what you do, is actually finding something that you enjoy, okay? And I think one day I'm gonna kinda talk about that journey to how I got here, because it did not, excuse me, it didn't start here. I'm just, I'm making it here. And, and today I was thinking back on, um, just my journey to getting here and how it is amazing that it did not start out this way. Um, blogging was not on my radar at, what is this, May? Actually, it was, it was coming into fruition and I didn't know it. If I can find some footage that I never posted, I just did it. I'm going to, I'm gonna put it either here or in the next vlog, okay? So I just gotta do a little searching. Today is Friday before um, my posting. <laughs> so it has been a struggle, okay? 
uh, that's just the honest truth. And this is the truth about um, just creating content and all of that. It This week has been a struggle because my allergies have flared up so bad. I mean, every day that I have planned to come on, it has been bad. Like, I, I, I couldn't even present myself appropriately on this here platform, okay? That's, it is just the truth. My goodness, what a week. But I still am determined that Sunday I'm going to post, all right? Now that one time I didn't post on time is because my internet was running really, really slow. And it did not, it didn't completely upload until almost midnight. And I was like, I'm not doing that. I am, oh! Okay, I need to retape. I I really do. <laughs> oh, okay, and I don't mean to keep saying uh, it just happened. It it comes out. So yeah, I do mean to say it. It's just my reaction. It is what it is. But anyway, yes, uh, I lost my train of thought on that. But I do want to show y'all this. I got these earrings as well as these. These are the ones that I ordered and she added these for me. <laughs> but I ordered these earrings. So cute. I've always wanted button earrings. Um, there is a place in Huntsville called Zenzele Consignment. And they have button earrings there. Look, let me hold my tripod. Um, but I've never seen any with this like detail on it. That little thing. And I was gonna get them without it, but when I saw these, I was like, girl, I'm ordering. I am ordering. So yes, I did. And um she is on um Etsy. And her shop is called Artsy Creations by Etta. Etta. And this is, I don't know if you can scan that QR code, but I'm gonna put it there. So you can screenshot it and then try to scan it or something. I'm also gonna put the link in the description. Um, I've been cleaning up. I've been kind of doing a detox, room detox, because I'm trying to get rid of whatever is in here messing me up. Um, I don't wash all, all of our linens, which I do anyway. But yeah, washing all of our linens. Um, wash my pillows because I don't like, I don't like pillowcases. <laughs> Fun fact about me, I just don't like them. I have bought many pillowcases and they end up, um, off and I think it's because I like the feel of the actual pillow more it's not just any pillow it is a certain type of fabric on my pillow that I really like and I sleep better when I sleep directly on the pillow so I just have to wash them more often and they be looking dingy because <laughs> even though I put bleach in the in the washing machine it just it is what it is. I got half hair product and all of that stuff in there. So yeah, it, that is life. Okay. That is real life. Life is not always about pretty pillows. Sometimes it's about the quality of your sleep more so than the look of your pillows. Okay. So, um, I have a, well, I think I'm going to post it before this, but, um, my daughter, one of our girls, got a little stir crazy. So we decided to take her to Big Spring Park and just, cause we, it's been a while since we've been there. Um, so just in going, I'm just like, I need to start going more often. We as a family need to start going more often. I used to go with my friends, um, like, I'm not going to say their names on here because they may not want you to know who they are. If you're on here, 
put a comment in the description. <laughs> and if you don't want to talk, then that's fine too. But anyway, me and my girls used to go um, to Big Spring Park at night sometime. And it was just so fun because you meet all kinds of people down there. Everybody's down there to just hang out. Um, I remember we met this white guy with dreads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he was just so like artistic type guy and bubbly personality outgoing and all of that um but yeah I don't know why that stood out to me in my mind just now but I do remember that um I remember people used to sneak and put soap in the fountains because as you can see, they have a fountain. At night, it is so pretty because all of that stuff is lit up. Well, they put too much in it one time. And it made all of the bubbles like overflow out of the fountain and onto the ground and onto the stairs. That was a big mess. <laughs> um, but that day that we went in particular where they were, there were bubbles, it wasn't overwhelming like that. But yes. Big Spring Park. If you are in Huntsville, if you are in the area, I would say go there. Um, it is just, mm, it's it's good. It's nice. It is a vibe. Okay, I really like that word or that phrase. It is a vibe. All right. So, if you want to go and have a picnic, there is plenty of shade on. Um, I want to say the left side, the side that's opposite of the uh, art museum yes the side opposite of the art museum that's where you're gonna find the fountain and the stairs and that restaurant at the top of the stairs and all of that and that's where you're gonna get the most shade too on the other side in the summer they have jazz and well it's not jazz in the park because it's not just jazz they have like different uh, it's concerts in the park so I gotta look that up because it's been a while I the last time I went was pre-covid so I'm gonna check oh my this decided to turn out okay I don't know why that did that anyway concerts in the park I want to do that I just part of me wanting to live a better life is just really learning to experience life like there is so much um so much that we can enjoy that don't cost a lot of money and even if you do have a lot of money for me i just don't feel i feel like some of the things that cost the most offer or that are considered luxury offer it don't give as much as i would love it to like some of the designer brands that are considered luxury brands i don't want your name stamped all over my stuff i think that is tacky me personally it is what i've seen some people rock it and it look nice but it doesn't fit with my it would look tacky with my wardrobe, I would say. Some things that would. And if I could figure out a way to work it, I may. We'll see. Time, only time will tell. But right now, like even some of these like high-end hotels. Some of these hotels, and we have stayed in some really nice hotels. And the nicest thing about it was the way it looked. Um, yeah. It was just su super expensive. For what? Question mark. For what? So, I don't know. I just think that some of the best things in life really are not necessarily free, but sometimes close to it. It just takes a little more research. And honestly, that's what I am on a mission to do is research and find those things i'm branching out beyond you know huntsville and alabama 
in Tennessee. Um, hopefully I can let this go and then not slide. Um, but yeah, I, I, I want to go to other places, you know, um, I want to go to the beach. I want to go. I don't, I don't know what all is going on. I don't even know what all is going on in Huntsville. And it sucks because on the weekend, sometimes we're just riding around doing stuff. We may go to a restaurant or something like that. And we look over and there's a whole entire festival. Like, why didn't I know about this? <laughs> so that is my goal. One thing that I'm learning on this journey though, is that I have a gift for really capturing I gotta fix this tape. It is driving me crazy. And I gotta get through this video so I can finish, so I can get the rest of my laundry. But my goodness gracious, alive. Okay. But I have this thing for like really Capturing the essence of, oh, what is it called? Like visual, not visual storytelling, but oh, like a visual experience. Like I am good at that. I be sitting here doing these vlogs and I'm like, the details, the details, the details. And when I plan out another vlog, it is the music, it is the, um, atmosphere it is the small details like the art like things that people put their heart into can be like okay my bra i have on this um ashley stewart butterfly bra and what stood out to me the most besides the fact that there are two straps on this bra hello to hold in the back fat but there is a little butterfly charm on it and when I saw that, I was like, ah, it's a butterfly. Like that is, I have always been like that because I have bought these bras, been buying these bras for years. Okay. Um, check them out. Check them out. Okay. If they fit you <laughs> because they do have a, a minimum size. Anyway. Uh, yeah. They do have a minimum size, but anyway, off of that tangent but those little details like somebody took the time to craft a little butterfly and put it on the front of the bra as a charm like oh it just gives it gives but we go through life so fast we go through what we're doing so quickly moment to moment to moment and we live so that we can get to these big moments at a time. And in between, we forget about like those small details. The little details stick, okay? Even if you don't remember all the stuff that happens or all the stuff that goes on when you experience something, it is those small or overlooked details that will help you remember it more, you know? Um, or at least it does for me. Another example, we're planning on going to the beach this year. One of the things that I love, like when I think about going to the beach and think with me, come on, think with me. One thing, <laughs> hold on, let me fix myself. One thing that stands out to me when going to the beach is the wind. It is just like, I love the feel of the wind. Like I can close my eyes and imagine that. I, it, it reminds me of 
my favorite time of weather, which is just before a storm. And not like right before the storm where it gets all weird, but there is a moment before the storm where the wind picks up, but it's just like, it's like, I don't know. It's, mm, whew, you just have to, you have to pay attention to it in order to really get it. And at the beach, that wind is always there, or at least almost always there. Gulf Shores, every time we've gone there, it's had that wind factor that has been amazing. And I just, I think about flying my little kite on the beach, that is the best thing ever. To fly a kite because the wind is so good that you will, you will be successful at flying the kite. Um, but it's just those little details that that send me, okay? And I just wanna encourage you all to stop and enjoy those little details. Well, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I know it is a little short, okay? But like I said, this has been a rough week. I do look forward to seeing you all next week. And I hope you have a good one. If you haven't already, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment with some of your favorite things that you like to do and things you like to enjoy. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.